Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 24 and in this tutorial I am going to talk to you guys about pseudo classes in CSS and if you guys are wondering if uh, the text or something looks different it is actually, uh, I've changed a little bit um, basically I started recording my screen at a higher resolution so I could try and have the videos available in 720p uh, and then the text was actually really small it was like that so I decided just to zoom in a little bit and as you can see it kind of makes things look a little bit more bold than they would actually uh, normally be okay so that's just why the writing would look different okay so let's talk about pseudo classes and a pseudo class um, in CSS is basically just there to give you guys a little bit more control over your styling. Okay, there's a, they're, like they're all built into CSS, so you can't go ahead and make your own pseudo class, but you can choose from a bunch of pre made pseudo classes that I am going to show you guys and I probably won't show you all of them so you can go ahead and actually Google some of it and see if you can find out if there's anything that you need that is going to be useful over there okay and uh, one of the first pseudo classes uh, that I want to show you guys is called first letter so let's go ahead and actually make a few paragraphs here uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually just type that out once, then I'm going to put my cursor in front of the paragraph tags, push Control D, and that duplicates it. So I'm going to make four paragraphs, and uh, I'm actually stealing this idea from my original tutorial on pseudo classes. So I'm going to type the word U, uh, and then only, and then I'm going to get the next paragraph to say live and the last paragraph is going to say once so YOLO and uh, now we can go ahead and actually style the first letter of every single one of these paragraphs uh, using a pseudo class uh, and then we'll be able to make the actual word YOLO stand out uh, so let's go ahead and do that and uh, the way you use a pseudo class is basically by selecting whichever element you want to uh, change so in this case it's going to be the P element and then you have to append on or add on a little bit of extra information which is the pseudo class that you are choosing to use so like I said there is one called first letter so you're gonna append on uh, this colon and then you're gonna type first letter and in fact it should be hyphenated just like that so uh, the first letter of every single one of our paragraphs that's basically what uh, that pseudo class is selecting and now we can go ahead and just maybe change the color of that to uh, let's go ahead and change it to blue and we'll um, make the font weight uh, bolded so font weight bold and we'll change the font size to something quite big so let's just change the font size to maybe uh, 20 pixels okay so now when I go ahead and save this and uh, whoopsie you can see I've been on YouTube uh, <laughs> I go ahead and save that and just run this in Firefox you can see uh, I now have you only live once printed out and uh, I could probably just go in and zoom in to make that look a little bit uh, the same size as the rest of the text okay so that is the first letter pseudo class uh, we also have something called the first line pseudo class so uh, if I go back over to uh, notepad plus plus and let's just take all of that out over here and add in a new paragraph um, and we're gonna have to make it quite long so we'll just say the quick red fox 
jumped over the lazy brown dogs back back not bag and I think I'm going to have to just duplicate this a few times just to make sure that uh, it takes up quite a bit of space okay cool um, and uh, that should be fine so let's go over to notepad plus plus again I don't know how I changed to the browser but anyways uh, notepad plus plus and instead of working with the first letter class let's work with the first line and um, I think this is fine I think we'll just keep the color blue uh, font weight bold and the size of 20 pixels and what this is going to do is change the entire uh, font size, font weight, and color of our first line in the paragraph. So uh, basically, uh, you can see here, we've got quite a few lines that are actually displaying, but only the first line of the paragraph, or the top line of the paragraph, uh, has changed. Okay. And I guess if I made my browser narrower, anything that falls down to the next line changes back to black, which is, that's cool. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.